Snipers, you have to see what's happening in the cryptocurrency market today as Bitcoin broke down to our target of 49,700 US dollars with today's candle low at 46,000 US dollars. And as soon as we came down to 46,000 US dollars within that same hour, we came right back above 49,700, our major level. And it's not a coincidence that the daily open is also here at that $49,700 level. And notice how exactly as we talked about Cardano is seeing brand new all time highs despite the weakness in Bitcoin because the Cardano to Bitcoin chart has broken out from our major resistance of 3200 Satoshis and we're heading towards this 4200 Satoshi level and that is causing new all time highs for Cardano while Ethereum is not necessarily showing as much strength exactly as we've been talking about and then traditional markets are doing some very interesting things The DXY coming back up to this 100 period moving average with the S&P 500 coming to test this 50 period moving average for the first time since March 2021. And that was when we came back up to see new all time highs. But more importantly, look at what's happening to this gold to Bitcoin chart. If we invert this chart, notice how we are showing a decisive direction right now and it looks like we want to come test this 100 period moving average and we know this was a signal of a top in the cryptocurrency market in 2017 we have a lot to look at today you guys are watching the snipers channel my name is naeem alabadi if you appreciate this content remember to smash the like button so as i always say we have to start in the higher time frames because everything morphs from the smaller time frames into the higher time frame. So before you see a move on the daily chart, you're going to see it on the four hour chart, on the six hour chart. And so the first thing I want to address right now is for Bitcoin, we have a ton of puzzle pieces on the table. Notice how we have potentially bullish divergence right now on the RSI, which we haven't seen in a very long time with price action right now forming this lower low and the RSI currently yet to break the previous low. That is a bullish divergence and on the four hour chart when we start to look into the more micro time frames notice how as soon as we came into this pocket between 49,700 which i've been talking about for the last two months and then the 44,800 dollar level we saw massive buy pressure come in that overtook all of the sell pressure and that means that this pocket was an extremely good zone to buy for those inside of our discord group, you know, I sent out the Bitcoin swing trade before we even tested 50,000 US dollars to enter in at 49,700. Well, within that same hour, we saw price action all the way to 46,000 US dollars and then coming right back to 51,000 US dollars. And so our trade did hit our target and our stop loss at 44,800 was not triggered. It was an extremely simple play and notice how on the 15 minute chart within 15 minutes we saw this area get bought back up and so right now there are a lot of puzzle pieces on the table but this is what i'm looking at when it comes to being the umpire for each and every one of you and giving you a neutral perspective with bitcoin we did see a lot of buyers come in inside of this pocket of 44,800 and 49,700 based on this type of buy volume, which is very good. We have that potentially bullish divergence on the daily chart. At this point, in my opinion, if we start to see any four hour candles close fully below 49,700, that opens the door to come to 44,800 and a test of 44,800 could potentially indicate a sign that we may start to play in the range between 44,800 and 49,700, but we've yet to see any four hour candles fully close body and wick below the $49,700 level. And so if and until we see that, I am going to assume that this potentially could be the bottom and we could potentially see further upside because when we look at another massive puzzle piece, the total cryptocurrency market cap chart. It is a very different storyline being played out. And when you look at the total cryptocurrency market cap chart, we had an extremely bullish retest of this 50 period moving average. And right now we are fighting right at that monthly open sitting at 
2.156 trillion dollars in market cap and we're seeing some altcoins seeing new all-time highs like cardano exactly as we've been talking about for those tuned into the cypress channel and so the overall cryptocurrency market cap is still in a very bullish trend we have yet to break this 50 period moving average and it even looks better than the s p 500 which we'll discuss later in this video but i quickly want to talk about ethereum we'll get into cardano and then talk about a ton of puzzle pieces in traditional markets so notice here with ethereum we're seeing sideways price action exactly as i talked about yesterday if we were to break down from 4,000 at this weekly open we were most likely going to see further downside and now we're at that 3675 level and we potentially have a downside target of the previous weekly open at 2950 if we're not able to reclaim this weekly open and really what we want to watch here is the ethereum and bitcoin chart that's how we've been predicting all of these breakouts for altcoins and notice how we're still inside of this range showing bullish price action we can actually take this ascending support level and analyze it and notice how it continues to move further up and that is a bullish sign and so we could potentially not even come down to this weekly open and see more sideways price action especially if bitcoin has already bottomed out that could be a potential where at some point we will see new all-time highs but all eyes right now are on some other altcoins polkadot also doing very well we'll talk about that in another video but when we look at cardano notice how the cardano to us dollar price hitting a high of one dollar and 96 cents and notice how this was all because of this cardano to bitcoin chart on the daily chart i told you guys yesterday if this level breaks we're gonna see a breakout and it's exactly what's happening so at this point i think that we've seen the majority of this breakout there's really just about six percent left before we might find some resistance so we will monitor this as we go if you guys want me to monitor more altcoins post them in the comments below and they'll also enter you into a giveaway to win principles by Ray Dalio. But we want to talk about what's happening to the DXY because we've got a lot of puzzle pieces with traditional markets. So as we come into the close tomorrow on Friday, this is what I'm watching for. A bearish puzzle piece for Bitcoin is going to be if the DXY reclaims this 20 week moving average on this weekly candle. If we close the week above 91.015, that would be a potentially bearish puzzle piece on the table. If this weekly candle fails to get above 91.015 and we close the week below, that's the first full weekly candle in a very long time since the start of this year, closing below the 20 week moving average for the DXY. That could be a potentially bullish sign for assets and commodities, of course. And we're seeing the effects of this DXY pushing back up to try to get back to home base at this 20 week moving average with the S&P 500 right now showing downside coming into this week way in below the monthly weekly and previous weekly open and we saw our first test of this 50 period moving average we are getting some volume let's look more into the micro time frames you can see the four hour does not look good so far there's a lot of sell pressure we want to monitor this but we know traditional markets tend to go sideways it's the path of least resistance when there's low volume uh, on the daily chart we do have ascending sell pressure but we also have ascending buy pressure so i think the path of least resistance will always be sideways to a little bit higher here if we come below this 50 period moving average is when i would be concerned so far the prince bullish i'm being the umpire and then we have to look at what's happening to gold coming up to test this 200 period moving average on the daily chart more importantly, on the weekly, we're above home base at this 20 week moving average, showing bullish price action, testing the 50 week moving average. And now we're starting to see this gold to Bitcoin chart come into the equation. We've been monitoring this right as soon as we were about to break out and come back to this 50 period moving average. We watched this chart because we know this was an indicator of a top in 2017. Notice how in 2017, in December into 2018 we saw the end of the crypto bull market at least for bitcoin with the moving averages being re reclaimed by the gold to bitcoin chart and so we want to monitor this this is a very very big puzzle piece on the table if we break through this 100 period moving average that could be even more confirmation really at this point what we want to watch is home base the 20 week moving average which is also showing confluence there and so any further upside here for this chart starts to put the reversal on the table where bitcoin could potentially have one indicator of a top and so 
I appreciate each and every one of you snipers watching this channel. I want to give away one of my favorite books on investing principles by Ray Dalio hardcover version. If you want to win this book, comment below, share this video. Let's grow this channel. Let's crush the YouTube algorithm. Zan Vidic says, thank you for your daily updates. Snipers out. You want a book and I'll also pick a winner from Twitter. Let's see here. Somebody that shared one of our tweets will also win a book for those not following us on Twitter. Our Instagram and Twitter is in the description below. And listen, you guys can comment all you want about the Elon Musk and Tesla, you know, not accepting Bitcoin anymore or the SEC now pushing back on Bitcoin ETFs. Those are all fundamentals. Could we say that what's happening on the charts is because of Elon Musk or it's because of the SEC? Yes, we can. The market always comes up with a reason for why the market is doing what it's doing. But that doesn't matter to me. What I care about is the charts and the numbers. Technical analysis is separate from fundamental analysis. And when you bring crypto into the equation, you now have on chain analysis. And so there were a lot of interesting on chain anal analysis prior to the dump where a lot of Bitcoin and Ethereum were moved on to exchanges. And we can talk about that over and over. Let's just pick. Let's see one of the retweets. I can't see it because I'm not logged in. So I'm just going to pick somebody that responded here. Farmer J, if you're watching this video, sending me a message on Instagram. You also want a book for those that want to win a book. Follow us on Instagram. We'll do some giveaways as well. And on our Twitter link is in the description below. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Once again, thank you guys for tuning into the snipers channel today. And until next time, snipers.